Right guys! So Valentine's Day is around the corner and it's time to get started with some Valentine's Day crafts. Hi guys and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and a little bit of organization, but all on a budget. Come check out today's video. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, check out some of my previous videos and let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget, I try and link everything I used in the description box, and if I can't link exactly what I used, I'll link something as close as I can get. Now let's get started. So I'm using the shadow box from the Dollar Tree like I have in several previous projects. The first thing I did is I went ahead and I painted the whole thing white and then I taped off the parts that I wanted to stay white and we're going to use some black because I decided I was going to go ahead and do the black, white, and light pink which I think is just a really classy combination. It's always looked good and it always will look good. After I painted the outside rim I did go ahead and also paint the inside of the box black. Alright, so then I'm just going to take some of these Dollar Tree letters and I'm going to trace it on. I'm going to do it with the X and the O's. I didn't want to buy extra packs and I thought this way would work too, so that's why I'm going to go ahead and trace these on instead of just glue them. And then I don't just want the outline, I want them black. I forgot I didn't have a black paint pen and so I'm just going to go ahead and use some permanent markers. I have a fine line sharpie, extra fine sharpie that I'm going to go ahead and do the outline with and then I just have a jot permanent black marker from the Dollar Tree that I'm going to fill them in with. These hearts are the wooden hearts you can pick up at Dollar Tree, painted in ballet slippers. So what I have here is the four backings of the four shadow boxes that we took apart and I am going to remove this. Oh cool, that's a little heart. Well, that'd be really cool if all of them are like that. We could reuse those. And get rid of this uh, background that they had originally. Next, I'm taking the background and I'm putting it on some white cardstock paper. This is to help me get the right size. I'm going to cut out a piece of this white cardstock for each of the backings. So next, what I decided to do is I wanted to take an extra fine Sharpie black marker and I'm just drawing horizontal lines straight across. I don't want perfect lines, so I'm doing this freehanded. Then I went ahead and I brushed some Mod Podge on the edges of the background. I only did the edges because I didn't want it to wrinkle. I lined up my designed piece of paper that I wanted for my new background and I pressed it on. If you need to rearrange, that's the great thing about Mod Podge, you can a little bit. Then once I had it exactly where I wanted it, I made sure it was smoothed down and I sat on it to keep it nice and flat as it dried. While that dried, I went ahead and I took these little building tower pieces and I hot glued them to the back of the hearts. Once the handmade backgrounds were dry, I went ahead and I glued the hearts onto them. So for adding this back into the shadow box, they usually fit pretty tight. So a lot of times I try not to hot glue or anything like that if possible. I just kind of push it in and there we go. So that way, if I decide I want to change this background or change it up at all, I can easily do that rather than having to really push it and possibly ruin it. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that I set them up XO, XO, well, I don't want the same thing because I don't want the same uh, letter on top of each other. So I'm going to go XO, OX. And I'm going to go ahead in this area, I'm going to put E6000. And then I'm going to put hot glue because I do want this to stay together really nicely. Alright, I do want to give that just a little time to dry. I'm going to go ahead and do it here also so that it can really be all together. And then where they all meet, I'm just gonna go over with another layer of black. And that's because you can kind of see a little bit of the white showing through from the bottom that we painted at the shadow box. And I just wanna go ahead and get rid of all that so the front is black. And we have that nice classic look of the light pink, the white, and the black. All right guys, as you can see, I lined up my clamps. I'm gonna give it a couple hours to set and then I'll go ahead and put on that layer of black. Once everything had time to dry, I went ahead and I removed all the clamps, I flipped it over, and I replaced the sawtooth hanger, but this time I put it right in the middle of the project instead of where it originally was in the middle of each box. Once this is done, you can hang it up and you're good to go. Let's take a closer look. And just so you guys all know what's really going on over here in the background, let's listen to my husband explain the project. Like today, we have this X and O frame. Yeah, and, like we put some X's and we put some O's and we put them in the middle of hearts yeah. and then we uh we did some pink and so we just made it like super pretty you know what i'm saying yeah and it's like a, the best thing you've ever seen well 
Well, that's a little taste of it anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can't wait to do another craft with you next week. Hi. Bye-bye. Today I just wanted to say hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet.